Hello there and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anis Orlix. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of secret scanning with Trivi. Now, Trivi scans your Git repositories, your file systems, and your contain images by default for any exposed secrets, passwords, and tokens. Additionally, based on pre-configured rules, it also scans your configuration files for any exposed data that might not should not be there, such as in your Terraform configuration files or in your cloud account, such as AWS. Trivi also does now AWS scanning. Do check out Trivi Cloud for that. Now, Trivi, again, is a completely open source tool. We don't collect any data. You don't have to sign up or anything to use Trivi. However, we would really, really appreciate if you could give us a star on GitHub if you enjoy using Trivi. And let's get started with the tutorial. For demonstration purposes, I have set up a basic Golang web app that just returns uh, a sentence when you open it up. Now, <laughs> I have here my Go app, and then I have here my Docker file for that application. We're going to take a look at that in a second as well. And then we have here Trivi secret.yaml file. Now, if you don't define a Trivi secret.yaml file, the default options will be loaded, but you could also um, configure any rules that you might want Trivi to follow in secret scanning. Now, as you can see here, I have some cosine keys, a cosine dot key, which is my private key that you shouldn't see actually usually, but I'm going to delete it right after. <laughs> and then a cosine dot pub, my public key that would verify me. Um, however, nobody should see my private key. So in my Docker file, I'm basically saying copy everything and then I'm going to copy actually the cosine.key file into my Docker file, right? Into the container that I'm building here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build the container. I'm going to name it go example insecure one, and I'm just going to build it. It's going to build uh, the container with the cosine.key file in it. Now I'm just going to run the application to show you how it looks like in our browser. And then opening it up, it just returns, this is an insecure app. That's the sentence it returns. Now, I want to scan this container image. Let's assume somebody found it online on my Docker Hub account and wants to use it. It's like, oh, yay, uh, go example app. Let's use this Docker file. Well, before you use any container image, anybody's container, from anywhere online, no matter how much you trust that person, you should scan it. And you can do that with Trivi image. We can scan the container. And we're just going to go ahead and scan the container for vulnerabilities and any exposed secrets. And here we go. We have the output from the image scan. Now, as you can see, there are no vulnerabilities found in that container image. However, it found our private key that we put into that container image. Now it's not displaying the private key here, but it found our cosine.key in our app. I really hope, like always, this video was useful. If you enjoy these kind of tutorials, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and a yay. <laughs> and we really hope to see you in upcoming videos. Again, the documentation is linked below if you prefer having a look at the documentation instead or in addition to this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.